What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi and welcome to another Clone Wars review. This time it is the three episodes in Season 1, uh, Bombad Jedi, Cloak of Darkness, and Lair of Grievous. So if you like these Clone Wars reviews, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more videos like this in the future. There will be spoilers for these episodes, so consider that your warning. And now on to the cast of the episodes. Catherine Tabor is Padme Amidala. Ahmed Best is Jar Jar Binks. Anthony Daniels is C-3PO. Matthew Wood is General Grievous and the Battle Droids. D. Bradley Baker is the Clones and Senator Anaconda Farr. Tom Kenny is Newt Gunray and Nadar Veb. Ian Abercrombie is Chancellor Palpatine. Tom Kane is the narrator and Yoda. Ashley Eckstein is Ahsoka Tano. Olivia Dabo is Illuminara Unduli. Nika Futterman is Asajj Ventress. James Marsters is Captain Argaius. Corey Burton is Count Dooku. And Phil Lamar is Kit Fisto. So the first episode, episode 8, Bombad Jedi, aired November 21st, 2008 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Jesse Ye and written by Kevin Rubio, Henry Gilroy, and Stephen Melching. The moral is, heroes are made by the times. Padme goes to Rhodia to help the Rhodians as their people are starving, but when the senator from Naboo gets there, she is taken into custody as Anaconda Farr, the senator of Rhodia, has made a deal with Newt Gunray, Padme, in exchange for food and supplies. Jar Jar evades capture, and wearing a Jedi cloak, he found in Padme's ship. So he goes to rescue Padme, but she frees herself. And long story short, Padme and 3PO are about to be executed when Jar Jar, astride a giant sea slug monster, takes out the droids that are about to execute Padme. And Padme holds Newt Gunray at blaster point, thanks to C-3PO for calling for aid, the clones arrive and Newt Gunray is taken into custody. They also have supplies for the Rodians, and that's where the episode ends. I give that episode a 2 out of 10. Episode 9, Cloak of Darkness, aired December 5th, 2008 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Dave Filoni and written by Paul Dini. The moral is, ignore your instincts at your peril. Maryland Jedi Master Luminara Unduli and Ahsoka Tano, for some reason, are to escort Newt Gunray to Coruscant to be tried for his crimes. But Darth Sidious and Dooku can't have that, so a plan is enacted to rescue the Nemoidian Viceroy. Ventress is dispatched to the Venator that will escort Gunray. She boards the vessel along with super battle droids and sabotages the ship's engines so it's not going anywhere. Unduli and most of the clones, along with Commander Gree, go to repel the droids. Ventress heads for the detention level. She tricks Ahsoka and Gunray, is set free, but Unduli arrives and Ventress flees with the Jedi Master, giving chase. Ahsoka wishes to aid Luminara, and once Captain Argaius tells her sometimes being a good soldier is doing what's right, and so the young Padawan leaves to help Luminara. That's when Argaius reveals... He is a turncoat and rescues the Viceroy. Meanwhile, Unduli is faring poorly against Dooku's apprentice in saber combat. And just when Ventress is about to kill the Marilan, Ahsoka arrives and prevents this. They then duel Ventress together. Argaius and Gunray board a frigate and head away from the disabled Venator, with Argaius signaling... Ventress. She flees to an escape pod and is picked up by the former Senate commando. Ventress kills Argaius and then heads away. And the stranded Jedi report to Yoda, and that is where the episode ends. And that gets a 3.5 out of 10. Episode 10, Lair of Grievous, aired December 12th, 2008 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Atsushi Taikuchi and written by Henry Gilroy. The moral is, most powerful is he who controls his own power. Nautilin Jedi Master and Council member Kit Fisto 
has tracked the escaped Newt Gunray to the Vesic system. Upon landing, he greets his former Padawan, the Mon Calamari Nadarveb, and several clones. They leave a couple clones to watch the ships and enter the Eerie entrance. They walk a corridor, and at the end, they find a hologram Newt Gunray ordering battle droids around. The Jedi take care of the droids, and Dooku appears via hologram and tells them while Gunray is unavailable for capture, there is someone else they can try to capture. The Jedi leave the room and find several adjoining chambers in the next corridor. They have shrines to a mysterious warrior, and in a room at the end, they find spare parts of General Grievous, as this is his lair, obviously. Grievous arrives, activating his guards, and his guards destroy the uh, clones' ship and the two clones guarding the ships. And the Jedi and clones, they manage to ambush him. Kit Fisto cuts his legs off, but he manages to get away to get repaired. The Jedi fight Gore as Grievous unleashes him to distract the Jedi while he gets his repairs. And uh, the Jedi do manage to best Gore, but it's just the Jedi that are left now. All the clones are dead. They see the general and his bodyguards leave the control room from a secret door, and they open it, and Fisto goes in, but Grievous is alerted to the presence of the Jedi, and Nadar, being young and rash, stays to fight Grievous, and the door closes. Grievous bests Nadar Veb, killing him with a holdout blaster as they are in the lightsaber bind. You know, the lightsabers are... Yeah, he's distracted, and Grievous pulls out a blaster and shoots him. Kit Fisto watches this on the on the screen and he manages to disable several panels in the control room and then he heads to where his ship will be and just as Fisto steps onto the landing platform Grievous surprises him and they duel it is short it is short but Fisto manages to leap to his just arrived ship and escapes and that is where the episode ends there are a couple of lightsaber duels in these um these episodes you have the luminara and ventress and luminara ahsoka and ventress in cloak of darkness and then you have kit fisto and general grievous and i guess you could throw in nadar veb versus general grievous there's a little bit of clashing but it's not much of a fight but yeah what i liked for bomb bad jedi it's great to see the planet of rhodia a planet you know we haven't seen before so that's that's awesome for Cloak of Darkness, it's kind of cool to follow different Jedi, so we get to follow the Mirrorland Jedi, Luminara and Dooley. That's pretty cool. And then for Lair of Grievous, uh, is uh, Kit Fisto. That's, it's always nice to see Kit Fisto and focus on him. And the actual Lair of Grievous is cool, though I wish we would have delved a little bit more and explored it more. It's kind of rushed. And what I didn't like... For Bombad Jedi, the Jar Jar bumbling his way to success crap that happens a lot in Star Wars is kind of annoying. Cloak of Darkness, uh, this feels light on like security, as it's really easy for Ventress to basically sneak in there. Like it's a whole Venator. There, I feel like there should be like at least hundreds of clones on on it but maybe i'm mistaken but yeah it just it just feels very understaffed i guess you could say yeah and the heroes are bested very easily in this episode so don't much care for that and then for layer of grievous um yeah just need more of grievous's past that because that could have been interesting and would have explored that so that is the uh batch of episodes well this batch of episodes is some of the worst so far that i've watched in this rewatch but also uh the best as uh lair of grievous is a 7.5 out of 10 but obviously the you know like bomb bad jedi that's a, a two or a three out of ten so i mean all in all a very interesting mix Lair of Grievous probably gets a little bit of a boost because, you know, I'm biased when it comes to Kit Fisto. I can't help it. Let me know what you uh, thought. Let me know what you thought of these three episodes in the comments section down below. And you can 
watch the previous Clone Wars review of Rookies and the R2 Lost episodes in the top left right now, and on the bottom left is my review of the Clone Wars movie. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.